Last logistic regression is also called multinomial logistic regression or softmax regression. It is used when we want to predict more than two classes. A lot of people use multi-class logistic regression all the time but don't really know how it works. So today I'm going to talk, walk you through how the math works and um, implement it using gradient descent from scratch in Python. So we're given x and y. Um, x is an m by m matrix where we see data, data points for n observations and m features. Uh, y is a vector of n observations. Each element represents the class membership of each observation. Um, basically, uh, we want to figure out the relationship between x and y and be able to predict the class membership, membership of any other given observations. The multi-class logistic regression defines the relationship between x and y as follows. Um, here we introduce an unknown weight matrix W. The product of W and x is Z. Um, and for each row of Z, we're only looking at row-wise, um, we apply softmax, resulting in this probability matrix P with each row adds up to 1. And then for each row of P, the index of the highest P value is basically the class membership of Y. Here is another view if we only take a look at one row at a time. Let's take a look at the data for person I. Um, we take the product of this person's data XI and again the weight matrix W. I included a negative sign here. Sometimes people don't include a negative sign. It doesn't really matter if there is a negative sign here or not. Uh, and also, you may also see people include a biased term here. Uh, for simplicity, we only look at the weights. Okay, so now we got zi for this person i. Uh, then we, again, we can apply softmax to zi. So this is a formula of softmax. And then again, we get the prob probability for this person uh, in each class. And then we can take the argmax for this row, pi, and find the index with the highest probability as um, yi. Uh, recall that we actually know P, uh, yi, yi is given. We know the actual class membership for this person i. So the likelihood function of yi given wi and w, uh, uh, given x, y, and w is basically the probability of observ observation uh, i at class k equals y i, uh, which is basically the softmax function of z i uh, y equals uh, k equals y i. And then again, we know z i k equals y i um, is basically the product of xi and wk equals yi. Um, so that's how this equation works. Basically, uh, we start from yi and going back all the way to the top. And then the likelihood function of y given w x and w for all our observations is just the product of the likelihood um, for everyone. Uh, we often use uh, the negative log likelihood as a function to optimize. Uh, here we use the um, negative log likelihood normalized by the sample size n. Um, the first steps are very straightforward. Uh, we'll just take the log and uh, yeah, it's just some log operations. Um, 
And then to write this equation in matrix form is a little more um, difficult to understand. W k equals y i. Um, this column vector is actually the product of w times the hot encoded uh, y i transpose. This class membership of y i here basically selects the column uh, where where it's one instead of zero. So it's basically select the column y i for w. And then the sum of um, x i w and y i transpose is just the sum of the uh, diagonals of w uh, x w y transpose uh, this whole matrix, the sum of the diagonal of this whole matrix. Uh, we often add an L2 regularization term to the loss function and try to minimize um, this, whole, uh, this whole combined function. In fact, the default of second learn uses um, L2 penalties. Um, the gradient calculations is as follows. Uh, one thing to note is that the gradient of WK equals YI with respect to WK is the identity matrix. The matrix will be 1 where YI equals K and 0 otherwise. Great, now we uh, have calculated the loss function and the gradient function. We can implement those two functions in Python and implement a very basic gradient descent algorithm. Um, let's first import needed packages. Um, then we can create the loss function based on the equations we mentioned earlier and the gradient um, also based on the equation uh, is exactly the same as the equation um, here we implement a super basic gradient descent algorithm with a fixed learning rate and a fixed regularization parameter and also we, take, uh, we took a fixed step of a thousand iterations. So super basic, um, and then we can create a class with um, a fit method, um, plot the loss function, and then predict, um, predict the data. Great, now, um, now let's fit the model first. Uh, we use the IRS data set. Uh, then we can plot the loss, loss function. We see that our loss value goes down over time, which is very good. Um, here we can predict, um, predict the data we just used and see how this model performs on the data we just trained. Um, um, and then we can compare the predicted value uh, with the actual value. And we see that the model predicts most of the classes correctly. Uh, so yeah, so that's it. So that's a very basic overview of the math and the gradient descent algorithm for multi-class logistic regression. Hope you find it helpful. Thank you.